Hi, I am excited this week to be back with you and telling you this whale of a tale, Jonah chapter two. And I have a whale of a tale to tell you from this week. It's one of the fun things that's happening because there's less traffic in the seaways and in the roads. And so wildlife is coming out. And so this week, a family in Florida had a 65-foot whale shark. You can see him at the Georgia Aquarium, 65 feet. Whale shark came next to their boat and swam right underneath the boat because there's no not as many boats to scare them away. And so it was so amazing to see God's creation so close. They even could almost touch it by the boat. It's amazing. So I hope that you had an amazing week and maybe you have a whale of a tale to tell me about your adventures. Um, hi this week of doing something really fun. And I know for me, one of the lows this week was that camps got canceled this week. And so I know that's gonna be hard for us this summer, but we have lots of fun things to do and um, I'm hopeful that we'll be able to engage you guys this summer in ways to help out uh, when you're at home to tell fun stories, to play games, to sing songs as a way to keep faith at home going during the week when there's no school, but there's also no camp. Um, so we are thinking about you and um, we're going to get to our scripture, but I hope that you take time as a family to pause and to share one another's highs and lows from the week so that when we are reflecting on scripture, we can see how God is working in our lives through the scripture and through the Holy Spirit. All right. See you in a minute. Okay. So we're back and it's a little different where I am. I am in the belly of a whale. You see all the water and the insides. This is what Jonah was stuck in when we're reading this story from Jonah chapter two. He had been thrown off a boat because there was a storm and the people on the boat were so scared and they offered him up to calm the storm to God. They threw him over the boat and there came a whale and they ate Jonah. So he ended up in the belly of the whale. So listen to the word of God and what Jonah thought about when he was in the belly of the womb. From the inside of the fish, Jonah prayed to the Lord his God. He said, in my distress, I called to the Lord, and he answered me. From the deep in the realm of the dead, I called for help, and you listened to my cry. You hurled me into the depths, into the very heart of the seas, and the current swelled, swirled around me. All your waves and breakers swept over me. I said, I have been banished from your sight, yet I will look again toward your holy temple. The engulfing waters threatened me and the deep surrounded me. Seaweed was wrapped around my head. To the roots of the mountains, I sank down to the earth beneath, barred me in forever. But you, Lord my God, brought me to life from up from the pit. When my life was ebbing away, I remembered you, Lord, and my prayer rose to you, to your holy temple. Those who cling to worthless idols turn away from God's love for them. But I, with shouts of grateful praise, will sacrifice to you. What I have vowed, I will make good. I will say, salvation comes from the Lord. And then the Lord commanded the fish, and it vomited Jonah out to dry land. This is the word of the Lord for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us now come to our time of reflection and with the questions on the next couple of slides. Think about how Jonah's story affected our week and how we are seeing God in unexpected places. And sometimes when we're stuck in places we don't want to be. Okay.
So now we've heard the scripture and we know that Jonah is in the belly of the whale and he is talking about how he's been thrown into the depths and he has seaweed around his head and the water was swirling around him. I can only imagine what it feels like to be in the belly of a whale and floating around the water after you've been floating around in a stormy sea and just wondering, God, are you with me? And in the end, Jonah says that he sings his praises to God. And then he knows that God will bring him salvation. That he'll do what he's been called to do. Before he was on the boat, he had been called to go to Nineveh and to talk to the people of God. And Jonah was running away from God. And so he got on that boat because he was afraid. Even when he was afraid, God saved him. And in the end, God had told the fish to spit Jonah out on the dark. So God is with us when we're scared. Sometimes because we're scared, we can't do what we need to do. Or sometimes because we're in scary situations and we need to escape. And so after this, there's going to be a time to reflect on not only your feelings about where God is with you right now in times that are scary, like God is with you um, when it's hard, like it is right now to be stuck in your house sometimes, miss your friends, but also for those who are escaping, like our um, friend who we'll hear about, Hiba, she's a 10-year-old from Syria, and her family escaped from Syria and are refugees living in Macedonia. Um, it tells her story, and it's a grown-up, Some you may want to watch it with your parents, um, but it's an important story. So Hiba is 10, and she uh, escaped on a raft. So she was thrown into the ocean, into the scary water, and the raft deflates. And so she has to kick and swim and for two hours in this stormy water and scared in the dark. And, and finally she is, ends up on the ocean, out of the ocean, out of the water, and ends up on the dry land, like Jonah. Now she's in a UNICEF camp, refugee camp. And her life is so different. She misses her friends and her family, but her life is so different and she is excited about being safe. And so I, I thinking about how God is with us in all the ways of our life. And so take this time to think about how God is with you right now and be able to sing God's praises about where God is with you the family, as individuals, and we'll come back together and we'll do our prayer and our blessing. We come now to our time of prayer. As we've heard today, we pray for those who are stuck in places that they don't want to be. As Jonah was stuck in the belly of the whale, as Hiba was floating out at sea, and she still misses her family in the refugee camp, just wants to go back home. As we think about those who are nursing homes, can't see their families. There's a time where people feel stuck. Some people don't feel very safe. They're very afraid. And Jonah reminds us in the prayer that God is with us in those places, even in the belly of a whale. 
that God sends us in the storms of our life safety so that Jonah can get back to dry land. And we are grateful that Hibba and other Syrian refugees were able to get to dry land and to find new ways of new life. And we pray that after this coronavirus that we will find new ways, new life, new ways to connect. Hear all this, O oh God, our prayers. This day in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who taught us your promise of new life for us and your love for each one of us. But today we will sign off with our blessing, with our hands together in the sign of prayer. As Jonah offered up prayers to God, we offer up prayers today to God. So when you see someone, Give them this blessing. You are praying for them. May they pray for you. And in that, that you're connected and knowing that God hears our prayers and God will come to us when we need God. Be present to us, whatever is going on. I'm so excited that we got to spend time together and that we'll have a, hopefully a good week next week to get together again. Um, and. I hope on the next slide, it was a great video that tells the whole story of Jonah. So you get to hear what happens to Jonah after he gets out of that jail. There's even more exciting parts to learn about Jonah. And then as a family, you'll spend time in scripture each night this week, learning about God's story, the story of being with God's people throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament, thinking about the how it affects us today. God continues to be with us. So happy Mother's Day to moms out there and we'll see you next week.